Um, I think we're on to our last topic of the day, and then we'll kind of get out of here, unless you need to go right now, Pete. Let's do one more. I'm done. All right. Last topic of the day is, of course, the Zion Fat Clause, the weight clause, if you will, to be more politically correct. The weight clause. And this is what the article goes on to say, and then we'll continue to talk about the Zion Williamson. Is this a big deal? Is this a no big deal? And we can kind of tie in a little bit of the football conversation as well as it pertains to Kyler Murray's home. Say, Kyler Murray, yeah. Kyler Murray's homework clause. So let's get into it right here. Uh, so the headline, Zion signs a five-year, 193 million max extension with the Pelicans, and that deal could make the jump to $231 million. However, the fine print of the contract is interesting, as the article goes on to say, there is a weight clause that could reduce Zion's payday if he does not meet the set weight uh clause uh, who has the details so christian uh christian clark kind of read the contract it said here according to sources williamson contract stipulates that he will have weigh-ins periodically throughout the entirety of his new deal the sum of his weight and body fat percentage must be below 295 if it's not the amount of guaranteed money in the contract can be reduced all right pete what do you make of the weight clause. Are you a fan of it? Are you not a fan of it? What is your take on it? I, I, I don't know if I'm a fan either way necessarily. It's more, I do think it's smart, you know? Like, I think if you're the Pelicans, this kind of only protection you give yourself. You know, yeah. with, a, with a player of the caliber that Zion is and a player empowerment era that we're in this mm -hmm. is one of the very outs you could give yourself you know you put it on the player to determine their own success right if you want this guaranteed money you have to do the like to do it staying under a certain weight when you're a professional athlete making that much money is i i think that's the bare minimum right like mm -hmm. Oh, stay in good enough shape to compete mm -hmm. to those players. So necessity for them in the situation and the way things have gone, it's more how is it be handled? It could be handled like the Kyler situation, right? Because all accounts like, you know, and I don't want to get too deep into the NFL, but you mentioned it. Like we knew about Kyler coming into this extension really surrounded by the fog of how committed is this dude, this sport, yeah. and how committed is he to winning in the team, right? Mm -hmm. That's not really the question with Zion. It's more the question is, what shape is he in? Is It's the really the same question, but focused on shape. Yeah. That if you have a player, and it's I found it really interesting the way that Kyler reacted to that, you know, that news, right? Because there's no way that that contract, Contract was signed for that amount of money with his agent, everybody involved without him about that. Mm -hmm. We know that. I don't know if we know that. But I would, there's no way he didn't know that was in there when he signed the contract. It's more like how is the player going to react to the discussion about it, right? And yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of a weird situation, man. Like that Kyler Murray one is really weird because. Yeah. It's, it's almost less of a necessity for the Cardinals to have put that in their contract in terms of like him watching the amount of film he needed. What was it? Four hours a day? Yeah, four, four hours a day. Um, it's less of a necessity because a lot of Kyler Murray's views are more about his health by the time the end of the season comes around, right? Rather than his game film watching, but also I'm not behind closed doors. That's more one of those things that was probably an internal issue they put in a contract that's publicly facing. Do you mean? Yeah. I mean, they, they have to do like, it publicly facing. Otherwise, you know, they think people question yeah. it. The yeah. point um, is that that issue, that issue, with Kyler, that issue that the Cardinals had with Kyler, they wouldn't have put there if it wasn't an issue by their yeah. standards. Right. Yeah. Issue was not a publicly facing issue. The contract, however, publicly facing. So we found out that he was not watching enough film, mm -hmm. presumably because it was in the contract, right? The difference here is that we all know that Zion sometimes not in shape, right? That isn't a, a behind closed doors thing. Yeah. We see Zion sitting courtside looking a little chippy around the waist, right? Mm -hmm. 
there there's no way he can react the way that Kyler Murray did. So yeah. I would argue you had to do it for New Orleans if you're giving this major contract to a guy that's pretty much always injured this far into his career. Yeah. Have to do something to protect yourself. So I think it's smart and I think that they expose an issue of his behind closed doors to the flick like the Cardinals did. Yeah, I mean, like, if we look at uh, kind of a little bit continuing on to this article, it talks about that, you know, Zion keeps getting less money unless the Pelicans waive him. Um, it also comes here, however, the Pelicans want to send a message about commitment to conditioning, something that has not been always on Zion's top focus. Again, that's a opinion from this article. Uh, to put it kindly, there were reports during his rehab, Zion's weight got well above 300 pounds. And, you know, when you're not playing and you're just kind of chilling and you eat the same, and it's it's what happens to all NBA players. and and athletes when they go from NFL to their next part of their life, right? We, I mean, for the most part, guys are getting chubbier because they continue to eat the same way, but are not working out. Off season. Yeah. yeah. And so to me, like that goes on to show you that, okay, you know, that that's going to happen. And so for Zion, obviously it was going to happen. He's, he, ha- he's prone to, you know, overeating and it becomes a situation. I think for me, and hopefully that the Pelicans get this right, they need to make sure that he has a nutritionist with him. And really, <clears throat> figuring out psychologically, and again, I don't want to get too, like, doctor, uh, fake doctor over here in terms of, like, oh, you know, whatever. But I think he really needs to think about, like, why does he overeat? Like, why do you eat at times? Like, for example, like chips. Like, let's say, you know, he's a big chip eater. Uh, Ruffles or whatever chips that he's sponsored by. I can't remember if he is. Um, or even Mountain Dew. I think he's sponsored by Mountain Dew. Like, you know, yeah, that's the one you got to get rid of. Jesus, he's sponsored by Mountain Dew. He might be, but like, think of like, why do you why do you eat the chips late at night? Why do you do like? There's always the psychological thing, and this isn't just for Zion Williams. This is for everybody in America because we have a we have an obesity problem that I think a lot of people are not ready to face the fact. Uh, but I'll put it out there anyway. That's just my belief. Um. But I just think that he needs to start thinking about like, okay, this is why I'm probably eating the chips and things like that, or like this is why I'm eating this food. And again, it's hard. You know, it's the same thing as you know studying film. It, sometimes for some people, they don't have that attention span. But you need to be able to at least make an attempt and really work on that stuff because again, Zion Williamson. And the question that I have for him too is: Are you committed to the Pelicans, or are you still thinking about New York? I still think that in my heart of heart. Pete, I still think he's thinking about your Knicks. I think the Knicks are on his mind right now, and that's probably maybe a good sign for you. Uh, but I think that, you know, he, he signed so. this he signed this contract because, hey, you cannot turn down that money. I don't care who you are. But you also are thinking about, okay, how can I get more money? How can I do this? How can I do that? Because I think at the end of the day, he wants to be a well-paid-off athlete. But then, you know, once that contract goes up, he's going to go to New York. Because I think he wants to be in the in the Big Apple because his, his stepdad wants him to be, and so I, I think for me, when it comes to comes to Zion, he really needs to have the the he needs to get rid of the yes men that are just like yeah you can eat whatever you want like he needs people that are going to keep him on track and keep him from from overeating because you know it's 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 a it's a condition that I think a lot of people don't want to admit sometimes is that they overeat. Whoever, whoever is manager, you have to start looking at some of these sponsorships, right? Do we want this guy to have a lifetime supply of Mountain Dew? Like, if I feel like if I drink one Mountain Dew, I'm on the, the doorstep of diabetes with just <laughs> one can of that stuff. Like, maybe not Mountain Dew and Twinkies and stuff. Like, let's get away from that. Get him a Whole food sponsorship, you know? Let's start talking some healthy alternatives. Yeah. Regardless, let me ask a question. Does this give him an out with his body? And out. You get a way to, to actually, I'm going to say something maybe not culturally sensitive, but I ask it ultimately. Does this give him a way to like fatten himself out of a city? That makes sense. Oh, like, like the James literally... Harden? Yeah. Like, but it's contractually written. He can literally gain weight out of the situation he's in. Because theoretically, like, it would be a very discu- different discussion if he was 34, you know, like. Yeah. Biologically, the you know I don't want to get too deep into sports and sports biology and all that kind of stuff, and just in general biology, like the older you get, the lower your metabolism it is, the harder it yeah. is to lose weight, right? Yeah. 
he's 25 and he gets, you know, he's purposefully gaining a ton of weight to get out of this contract. Curious if that's maybe a sub alternative motive of adding that in, right? Like Mm -hmm. and negative my way out of this situation by gaining a bunch of weight and still be young enough to go work it off really quick in the ideal situation I want to be in. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious about that. No, because I think if you fa- if you get if you kind of eat your way out of a city, I mean, who's going to really want to pay you? Because then, again, it comes like that's the 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 elephant in the room. No pun intended in terms of weight, but like that's the elephant in the room that continues to be a discussion about Zion Williamson himself. You continue mm-hmm. to become overweight, and it becomes an issue to where you can't play on the court. Obviously, that was this year. We saw that he was overweight, and he was not able to play on the court anymore. And again, it continues to be a conversation with him because he's shown time and time again that if you continue to put on, I mean, it's been the issue since the draft, even when he got drafted, right? A lot of people were like concerned about his weight. They were concerned about his shoe. Yeah. I mean, they're concerned about it because at the end of the day, you cannot have that much force put on your knees because it hurts you. It'll continue to build up these injuries, which we saw this year. And you have to be lighter on your feet and you have to move a little bit lighter because that's the way in order for you to be a dominant basketball player, you have to maintain a certain weight. And if you go over it or under it, you become less and less effective. I mean, look at Shaquille O'Neal throughout his career. If he was able to not gain as much weight as he did when he went from the Lakers to Miami or even Miami to Boston or wherever else he went there, Cleveland, I think he could have had a long career. He probably could to be honest, Pete, I think Shaquille O'Neal, if he was healthy and really at it, he would have been the top scorer in the NBA history. In my mind, I think he he would have been that player. But he chose a that different path. Good. He chose a different path, and again, that's on him for doing that. But I want Zion to realize that if you go down the Shaquille O'Neal route where you know, you're not really taking care of your body, you're eating whatever you want, and doing things like that, it will affect you in the long term. Not only financially, but physically as well. You're going to be out of the league because teams are going to be like, I can't trust you to not put on the weight when we need you to be a dominant player for us. Yeah, but the problem is like the way, the the talent we've seen, and let's just keep it within the next like two to three years, right? <laughs> within yeah. reasonable amount of time for somebody re-signing this guy or going out to get him, right? Mm-hmm. I think there's tons of teams that would overlook that if they could get him to be as committed as he possibly could. It's not like New Orleans has been an ideal situation for the bulk of his time there. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, I was throwing theories out like that about about him last year. Like, is he gaining this weight? Is he looking the way he is? Because we were seeing videos of him throwing 360 windmill dunks down when he's supposedly too injured to play, right? Mm-hmm. Is he gaining this weight to try and just forcibly get his way out of there? I mean, he literally just watched a player of a much higher caliber than James Harden do it. I don't mean caliber like talent or skill-wise. I just mean like the name and how much power he has in the league, theoretically, right, is much higher because he's more established in the league. He literally got out of a situation by gaining weight, literally. Yeah. I think there's a big part of it that is like, was Zion actually just trying to do that? And is this contract a reaction to him doing that last season? Did they understand what he was doing it for? Or was that even the reason? Is he actually just a guy that gains a ton of weight really fast, right? Yeah. It looks like he is. Like, yeah. The question is how much of it was purposeful? How much of it was like, this guy really doesn't want to be here anymore? Because like, look at the Pelicans. As soon as they started to turn around, he started to look a little bit healthier. You know, he really did. There's a clear correlation between their success and his shape and closer to playing again. So I think there's something to be said. And it, it says it in that article you were looking at. Like he, they apparently did not expect the leak of this clause to come out, you know, like, no. Yeah question is how could they why would they have signed that if they didn't think there was a possibility of it coming out of course it was going to get out you know he's one of the biggest players in the whole league Mm -hmm. in this contract so yeah i'm not too sure man i think that this this is kind of like a big asterisk on this i wonder if they signed it as a I don't know, man. It's kind of a tough spot. I don't know if I really don't think he's going to be with the Pelicans for 
entirety no. of this contract, like you no. said. And I don't necessarily think that's the Knicks. I just am curious how this ends up unfolding in terms of, of this part of it in his exit. Yeah. Um, really quick, Sean, we'll kind of wa- read your comment. You said, is RJ Barrett going to get a max? Yes. Uh, he should get a max too. Yeah. And maybe, than Sexton. and maybe we can talk about it on a different video. Maybe a little Knicks, Knicks expose. Sure, let's do, we, let's call it now, Bernie. Let's plan it for another, another stream in a few days. Let's do a Price is Right stream. That'll be the right. whole fuck, okay. whole gimmick. I must use the swear. I must use a real swear word on the stream. <laughs> uh oh, you're about to get canceled by oh. the stream. I held it in. I held <laughs> my f word in. But, yeah, uh, we'll do a full Price is Right stream with players on you know upcoming extensions and players who just got their extensions and people who are rumored to want extensions. Yeah, let's definitely do that. Um, and again, let us know in the comment section down below, people. What do you make of the Zion contract? Are you a fan of it? Are you not a fan of it? And if so, what what do you think could be, you know, what can teams do in order to uh, better suit themselves to to really, because again, this stuff is going to come out, put people from the Twitter sphere are going to get mad. But I think at the end of the day, the Twitter sphere people are the minority of people. They're not the they majority. Are. They're the loud, the loud minority for sure. And so they're just going to have to figure it out. I'm talking about you, Sean, when I, when I say that, but <laughs> nevertheless, yeah. uh, let us know in the comments and opinions and let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Again, new place. I'm feeling crazy right now. Uh, more so can't speak today. But uh, like I said, let us know in the comment section down below. What do you guys make of the Zion story?